Come with me to the world's largest Gachapon store. It's also known as Gachapon no Tepato and is located inside Sunshine City in Ikebukuro. They have over 3,000 Gachapon machines and holds the Guinness World Record for having the most Gachapon machines in one place. Right when you walk in, you're literally transported into Gachapon Heaven. They have some historical Gachapons on display like this one, along with some vintage figurines from the 80s and 90s that showcases the evolution of Gachapon. There's even this giant Gachapon machine which I thought was really cool. Right when you enter the Gachapon store, an entire section in the front is sectioned off for Kujis, which are basically like lottery raffles where you buy a ticket and determines your prize. They're usually around $7 to $8 and these prizes are tiered and usually higher quality, especially for A, B, and C prizes. We of course had to try for ourselves. There is a vending machine where you pay for your ticket and the staff working there will help you facilitate everything. You just have to tell them which Kuji you want to play. After paying, that's where the fun begins. We bought two tickets, so we got to pick twice. The first ticket was a F prize and for the second one, we got the A prize. We got so lucky. Even the staff was surprised considering there were so many raffles left. The A prize was the full size Rengoku figure. It's beautiful. As for the F prize, it was two metal coasters. We chose the Inosuke one. It's honestly pretty useful and handy to have. Alright, back to the gachapons. This place was absolutely massive. They have a variety of gachapon machines aside from the traditional ones like these premium gachapons and automated ones that take IC cards for payment. They even have a section dedicated for One Piece. Unfortunately, all of the One Piece capsules were sold out, but it was still really cool to look at. They literally have everything you can think of. It's not just all anime characters. They literally have gachas for everything. Fancy some spores? They have it. Love to see we know your anigiri? Get yourself a keychain for it. Stamps, Gundam paint, mini furniture, you get it. There's even a photo op area where each cube is decorated with different themes so you have the perfect backdrop for your prize. And honestly, this place is so big. Just when I thought I went through everything, nope. There was a whole corridor that leads to another room filled with gachapons. We're going through a corridor right now. Oh my god. Look at this. Yep, that was me in utter disbelief that there was a whole other section to explore. The room was definitely more catered to children, with some of the cutest and popular characters among kids like Paw Patrol and Curious George. But don't worry, there's still a lot of other variations of anime gachapons there. They even have a tiny tan section for all the armies out there. Alright, since we're here, of course we don't have the self-control to not get some touches of our own. Here I am getting them coins. The first machine we went to was obviously going to be Spy Family. I wanted this Anya so bad. They're little cord holders and they're just so cute. The first one we got was Lloyd. This is what he looks like. Here's my second attempt. And I got the same thing. Alright, I guess third time's the charm because we finally got Anya. It wasn't the smug face one, but this one is still so cute. Alright, of course we had to keep trying. This is our fourth and last try. We finally got her! Since I'm obsessed with Sailor Moon, I had to get the Sailor Moon version of the cord holder as well. I really wanted this Luna one. And to my surprise, I actually got her on the first try. Next up, I decided to get this Chibi Marugo-chan toe. It's honestly the most functional thing we got here, plus Chibi Marugo-chan was literally my childhood. If I could identify as an anime character, it would probably be her. For all the car guys out there, there's a whole section of car gachapons. Here we are trying for a GTR. Which one do you want? I want the white one. Look, we ended up getting a black one. Oh well, black one is fine too. And of course, I had to try this Yuru Camp one. If you haven't watched the anime, I highly recommend because it's such a relaxing anime to watch and it made me want to camp in Japan so badly. 
Anyways, I ended up getting Etna, but she wasn't my first choice, so I decided to try again. And of course I get a duplicate. But it's okay because there's so much more gachas for us to get. We randomly decided to get this drum from that drum master game. Even though I'm terrible at this game, at least I have a cute drum. And we obviously cannot forget about Demon Slayer. We had to get this dolled up version of the gang. They're all so cute. Look, we ended up getting Zenitsu! Oh, yeah, oh, by the way, throughout the store, you'll also see these machines to collect your plastic gacha capsules so that you can recycle them. But yeah, that's just a glimpse of all of the gachas we got. I'll be uploading a haul in a few days, so make sure to subscribe and see the full haul of everything we got. Thanks for watching!